Hello and welcome to Baki Gaming and this is the Sims 4 tutorial how to make your own custom wall stickers. At the end of this tutorial we will end with something like these two suns right here. To make these we need three programs. First of all you need the game, the Sims 4. You need a program to open and save DDS files like Photoshop or GIMP. And you need the Sims 4 Studio. Now let's start with taking a look into our game. Now let's go into our painting section. Uh, here are the stickers we're going to make. And uh, we need an uh, object now to recolor in the Sims 4 Studio. So let's pick this one with the moon. Uh, remember or write down the name of the object because we need it in the Sims 4 Studio. Now let's go into the Sims 4 Studio. Now if this is your first time opening the Sims 4 Studio, you have to fill in your creator name first. After you've done that, click on object and click on create recolor. We're now going to search for the object we want to recolor. So fill in the name of a part of the name of the moon sticker. Click on it and click next. It's now cloning the object and we're going to make it into its own package file. So choose a package file, name and click on save. Okay, so now give your own name and own description like I already did. And as we are going to make only two recolors, we can delete six swatches. So remove swatch one, two, three, four, five, six. After this, click on texture. Now you will see here the, te the texture that we are going to change in Photoshop. Before we can change it, we have to export it. So click the export button and name it, uh, name it oh, moon and click save. Now let's go into Photoshop. Now let's open the file we just made in the Sims 4 Studio. Now, as you see here, it looks like there's no moon and clouds at all, but there is. If you go to channels, then there's here the alpha channel. What does it do? Well, everything that's black will be transparent and everything that's white won't be transparent, so it will be visible. As we are not making a wall sticker of a moon and clouds, we're going to delete this alpha channel. And we're going to make a new one if we place our new image right here. So let's go into Google first to find our image. Now, if you want to use the same image as I do, go to Google, type in Zom PNG. Zom is the Dutch name for sun. Um, go to search tools, pick for size large and color yellow. Then scroll a bit down, then here you have the first image and this is the second one I use. So um, save them and then go back to Photoshop. Now back in Photoshop first minimalize this window, then open up your first image. Uh, let's place it more in the middle. Then select your quick selection tool and drag it. Oh. Select layer first, drag it around our sun. This way we're gonna going to cut it out from its background. Uh, oh, it's already done. If there is a lock here, you can press a uh, double left mouse button and press enter. Then the lock is gone. And then you can pre press delete to cut it out. Then drag this sun into the purple background like this minimize and large now the our image is far too large of course so press ctrl 0 to see it see the whole image then go to a corner press shift and drag it in and place it onto the purple background press ctrl zero to zoom in again okay now this is uh, the right way our sticker is not uh, already ready of course so go to channels and press new oh, i forgot something go back to layers press ctrl and click the first layer and now press 
control delete okay so now everything what black is will be invisible and our sun with the thumb will be visible you can press ctrl d now to deselect uh, oh sorry and then go to file save as save as dds um, go to name it sunny sun oh sunny sun and then press save uh, in this window choose dxt5 and generate mep maps and then click save again now go back into studio press the import button and choose your just made it file and press open again and here we have our first sticker now to make the second one you can redo all these steps only choose the second swatch we don't have to export it again because we already did um, then go back into photoshop you can press ctrl alt z to remove these things here and then open up your second image i, re I already cut it out pick up the move tool and drag it into the purple background zoom out with ctrl 0 drag it in using shift place it onto the background oh. zoom in ctrl 0 pressing enter go to channels make a new channel i forgot again to control click the first layer and press control delete now press control d to deselect go to file save as save as dds and click of type in moon 2 oh, not moon of course or just name it sun click on save and save again go to the sims 4 studio click on import and the right file click on open and there you have two new stickers now let's make some custom thumbnails um, go to photoshop press file new fill in 32 the here and 32 there press ok then open up the image and drag it to the other enlarge it press ctrl 0 drag it in using shift uh, zoom in ctrl 0 uh, let's do it this way press enter go to file save as dds um, let's name it sunny sun thump press save and again go to sims 4 studio press the import button choose the sunny sun thump and click open well for the second one it's the, the same routine um, i already made one so uh, sun thump open and there you have it, two sunny sun wall stickers for in your game. So now place the package file into your mods folder and let's take a look in our game. Okay, now back in game, go to your painting section um, and here you have the two happy suns. You can change the color stripes too, by the way, but I forgot to do that. If you want to do that, go back into your Sims for studio and change the swatch thumbnail colors uh, those are the two colors you see right here okay um like every object you can uh, enlarge these two by the way so uh, then they will look like uh, this okay this is the end of the tutorial i hope you uh, you enjoyed it you learned something and i hope to see you back again for another tutorial 
or for my new series that I'm going to make about all the custom content, content I made already for The Sims 4. Um, I will show where to find them and how to use them, maybe some tips and tricks for some objects. So subscribe if you want to see them and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.